hi friends so the topic of today's video is like means how to add a child layout in parent layout so if, if you can see this particular slide so here we can see this is a parent layout and inside this you can see one child layout is there that is that is we can use inside the parent layout so if you can see the uh, parent layout there is nothing inside this particular parent layout and there is one only one text and if you can see this child layout uh, there you can see this particular uh, card circular card and there is some buttons and some text also so let's jump into the uh, like means jump into the code like means how it's look so whenever i'm talking about like saying that uh, this is a parent layout it means that's the activity the test activity that i have created so i'm taking the test activity as a parent layout and the uh, that is activity and the second thing that i'm uh, considering as a child is a xml so this is just uh, xml there this is not a uh, activity it's just xml xml so this particular design that i want to use in the parent layout so how we can do this so if you can see the parent layout so there is nothing else so this this is the linear layout and there is one text you can see this text only so let's see how we can achieve this particular thing so first i am going to this java class so here uh, what i am doing just making the linear layout and just here you can see this i'm providing some id like means activity underscore parent so whose activity whose layout activity i'm uh, id i'm providing it here so if you can go if you're going to the parent layout here we can see the linear layout and i'm i have given this particular layout name as a id as a activity parent the same id i'm using it here and making this particular linear layout and naming as a parent because this 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 is the place where i want to put my child layout so after that i am making the child layout from the layout inflator and here i am providing the context current context and after that i am providing the layout name so so like means the name of our layout is child underscore view so that the same r dot layout dot child underscore view and in the parameter i'm providing parents so because we want to inject it, it into here and after that like means this is the line uh, that is adding this particular child to the parent so add view means adding this particular child view to the parent and after that if you can see in the child there are some buttons and also there is one text that is invisible so what i want to do is like means i just want to know whether we will be able to access this particular button and this particular text if you want to perform some operation in the child whether we will be able to do it from the parent or not so to do to check that one so whenever we are calling anything from the child class child layout we can name as like means we can access it with the help of view that we have already created so that view child view consist of this particular uh, button and the text so i have mentioned this child view and then find view by id and then provided the mat button uh, that is the id of this particular button so if you can see this button and the id here is mat button and the id of this text is invisible so here you can see i have made the visibility as invisible so that it will it will be not visible but i will be i will be toggling with with the help of this particular button so on click of this particular button i will i'm going to change the visibility so first thing that i'm doing is like whenever uh, this particular button is clicked so at that particular time i'm setting some text and after that i'm setting the visibility so if you can see i am using the ternary operator with the help of this like means there is one method that get visibility so that is going to provide me whether it's visible or invisible 
so according to that we can reverse the thing like if it's visible then we can make it invisible if it's visible invisible then make it as a visible so like uh, right now like once i've already opened this avd manager so that i uh, don't require the time like means, as you know like means it's take lots of time to to open this particular uh, avd so let's look how this particular actually works so here you can see this parent layout now i have this particular child layout also so whenever i'm clicking on this one you can see this child layout child click so the, the, we are able to perform some operation also in the child so that is what uh, we required so that's it like means and you can find find this particular build uh, whatever the code that i have written and whatever the uh, styling and part uh, also you will be able to get in the description that i am going to upload in the github yeah thank you for watching